is Bible study time. I hope that this month has been feeding you. I hope that this month has been blessing you. I hope that this month you have seen a growth in your mind, a growth in your, your spirit, a growth in you just plain, just, what's that word? What's that word? period okay a grow for you period okay i hope that your family your loved one is seeing a dramatic change and a dramatic turnaround in you as we continue to be in the word of god as we continue to build ourselves up in the most holy faith by the word of god now today we're in psalm 19 okay <clears throat> and you know how we do we're gonna get into this word we're gonna discuss it Please, you support us by sharing our content, by commenting, by liking, by being active on our page. So please like our video, share our content, and communicate with us through commenting. If you have not yet, click the link for the WhatsApp group. Join us as we encourage each other, as we love on each other, as we share with each other our struggles and pray with one another. All right, let's go. It says... This is Psalms 19, okay? And it says, God teaches us about himself. Is so anybody who say, I don't know God? I don't know who he is. I don't know what is he's about. That person ain't reading the word. That person ain't spending time with the with life, you know? The word of God is life. And it says, the heavens show us how great God is. The sky above shows his good work. Each day speak about God. Each day speaks about God until the next day continues the story. Every night tell us how great God is. They do not use words to speak with. Nobody hear their voice, but their message go around all the earth. Their word go to all the world. God, God has made a home for the sun in the sky. Each morning the sun comes out. Like a happy man who has just married, it comes out. Like a strong man who wants to run a race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens. It travels in a big circle to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect. What this psalm is saying is that you can see God's goodness just by waking up and looking at the sun, just by looking at the, the night sky, just by just looking around, you can see the good works of God. Okay, and it says that every day speaks about God. Every day when you wake up and you see life, all right? Every day that you wake up and you <sighs> inhale. Every day when you wake up and you see your children, your spouse, your loved one, it speaks about God. Every day is telling us that God is good. Every day is telling us about God's good work. And here, I love what it says. It continues the story the next day continues the story about how good God is all right verse 7 it says the law of the Lord is perfect it makes us strong again we can trust what the Lord teaches us he helps ordinary people to be wise the Lord rules are always right if we obey them they will make us really happy the Lord commands commandments are completely good. They show us how to live in a good way. It is right for us to respect the Lord. That will always help us. The law of the Lord, the law, the laws of the Lord are true. They are right and fair. They are more valuable than gold, even the best gold. They are sweeter than the best honey. Your laws warns us to do what is right. If we obey them, they are a great help to us. Nobody realizes every time that they do that they do something wrong. 
please forgive me for the sins that I do not know about. Lord, stop me doing things that, are, that I know are wrong. Do not let those sins ruin me, ruin my life. Then I will not be guilty. I will not have turned against you in a bad way. Lord, I want to make you happy. I want my words and my thoughts to please you. You are my rock. You are my fortress. You are my redeemer. Okay, let's go back up. Let's go back up, okay? Let's go back up. It says, we can trust what the Lord teaches us. He helps ordinary people to be wise. It says, the Lord rules are always right. We obey them. They will make us really happy. It says, the Lord commandments, commands are completely good. They show us how to live in a good way. It is right for us to respect the Lord. That will always help us. The law of the Lord are true. They are right and fair. They are more valuable than gold, than even the best gold. They are sweeter than the best honey. Your laws warns us to do what is right. If we obey them, they will they are a great help to us. I want to stop right there. First of all, the scripture is saying God's law is good. I've, I've found that to be true in my life. It says that God's law is of help to us. I've also found that to be true in my life. Yes. It says that we would do bad and do not realize that we do bad. And it also said that I, I love that it says, forgive me of the sins that I don't know of and help me to not do the sins that I do do. And I do believe that as Christians, one, we know better and sometimes we just don't do better. Hello? There are times where I know better and I don't do better. There's times that I need God's mercy. However, there's also times where I don't know better. And through the conviction of the Holy Ghost, I learn better. And I need God's help to not do wrong, but to do right. And so even though I'm reading this, I know that I cannot do this without God. I cannot do this without being in his word. I cannot do it without being in his presence. Because some days, there are times where I'm so fleshly that I, I step out of God's will. An example, you know, I have a disagreement, right? Whether my husband or stranger, yeah? And I lose it. I lose, I lose myself. I lose myself, all right? But I know better. I, I know better, okay? I know better. And you might find yourself in one of those situations where you are not work, walking according to God. But what the Psalm says, he said, God have mercy on me for the things that I know, but also for the things that I don't know. All right? And I love God's law is true. Guys, I remember being in the world and then coming into God and reading the word and like, this thing is talking about my life. This thing is talking about things that I used to do and I used to get issues with because I used to do the wrong things. And now the word of God is telling me what is right and what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And now I have an awareness and a choice to do what is right, to do what is according to God's word. And so do you. As you continue to listen to these Bible studies daily, as you continue to pick up the Bible and read for yourself, as you continue to be in prayer time and be with God and be like, God, help me. Help me to understand your word. Help me to be in your word by myself. Help me to learn these things on my own with you. Help me to walk accordingly, not just read it, not just listen, but also do. I know that my life will be good because your word said it. Be true. 
all right and so as we read about god's ways and we know that according to this god's ways are good without anyone speaking but just by waking up and just looking around seeing the sun seeing the moon seeing the birds seeing the sky we know that god is good just by breathing eating being able to move our body being able to see our children and our loved one healthy we know god is good right and it's just for us to acknowledge and be aware of god's goodness and and be thankful but also walking according to the creator of the universe he's given us all these ways that we need to download meditate on and become and we cannot be coming without first separating ourselves from the sins and the things that is not of god and the people that is not of god loving the word of god loving the things of god and then meditating on it meditating on it being in his presence meditate on his word and then we will become all right and i pray that as god teaches us about himself every day when we look in a loved one's eyes, when we see a loved one smile, God is teaching us about his self and his good work. And as we be, become aware of it, become appreciative of God's goodness, then we will be a, a, able to thank God for what he's doing in us. Thank God because now we are aware. We're not just passing through life, not noticing the goodness of God, but now we're becoming aware, oh, God created this world. God created health. God created children. God created good homes, right? God created peace and joy, and I'm living it. I'm feeling it. I'm enjoying it, and I'm being thankful for God for it. So let us remember the goodness of God and the ways of God seeing how God can teach us. If all these things God has done, why wouldn't we allow him to teach us his ways? Why wouldn't we allow him to teach us his goodness? Why wouldn't we allow him to teach us who he is? If God created all this, why would we submit to him and be like, God, teach me your ways. You created this world. So now teach me your ways because your ways are right and your ways are true. Teach me it. So that I can live a pleasing life. That I can live a good life according to your word. And if you're ready to, to hand over your life to God, even as a Christian, when I read these, these words, I see how much I need God. I'm not grown enough. Every time I read this word, I'd be like, God, I still need you. There's not a day that I don't need you. Because these word teaches me your ways. Now I'm aware that every day I need to be thankful of your good work. And by being aware and thankful, I can want more of your teaching, more of your goodness. And so if you're ready to say, God, I want more of you. I want to, I want to learn more. I want to be more aware of you. Teach me your ways. Let us pray together. Let us join hands together and let's say, God, teach me more of your good work. Let me realize more of what you're doing. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Father, we honor you. We give you praise. Lord, we know that we are nothing without you. We cannot do anything without you, Lord. And so, oh God, we give you praise. Oh God, we give you glory. Oh God, we give you honor. Father, we submit our life to you. We pray, oh God, teach us more about you. Teach us more about your ways. Teach us more about your glory. Teach us more about how we can acknowledge you and how we can praise you and how this world speaks good things about you, oh God, that we ourselves, oh God, can be submissive to you, that we can learn from you, learn from your laws, learn from your ways, and work according to the ways that pleases you. Father, forgive us of the sins that we are committing knowingly, but also, Lord, forgive us of the sins that we are committing unknowingly. Wash us and cleanse us again. Teach us and move us again in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, touch the hearts of your people. 
Touch the hearts of your people, O oh God. Touch the hearts of your people, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you, Grace Walk family. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that just follow us on social media, on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be a part of the family. Share our content. That is how you can support us. And we love you guys. We just look forward to what God has in store for us to share with you guys. It's been a it's been a year for everyone. It's been a couple of years for everyone. It's been a a, a, a very awakening two years for everyone. But God is with us. He loves you guys. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Do not allow fear to drown out the goodness of God. We love you guys.